Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. We're back. So, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 202, West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. So, before we get into today's festivities, um, John, how was your break? How was your little time off? Outside of uh, graphics going down. Mm -hmm. It was good. Outside of that also kind of being a blessing during that time, too, in, in a way. Yeah, allowed me to step away for a little bit, which I needed. I, I needed it, too. Um, yeah. Obviously, I, 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 we still did our day-to-day -day here, but it's, it's not it, this this. The little break was needed, but it was weird. Um, I'm not used to having a buy in hockey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but with that being said, all right. So the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Manitoba Moose in Manitoba tonight in Game One. Um, shots on goal in the first period, Manitoba outshot Milwaukee 11 to 8. Shots on goal in the second period, Milwaukee outshot Manitoba 10 to 8. In the third period, Manitoba outshot Milwaukee 18 to 6. And in total, Manitoba outshot Milwaukee 37 to 24. On the power play, Milwaukee went 2 for 3 with 22 minutes, 7 infractions. Well, Manitoba went 0 for 4 with 20 minutes, 6 infractions. Scoring in the first period. Uh, at the 135 mark, Mark Delgaizo scores his first of the postseason, assisted by McCarron and Evangelista, their first of the postseason as well. And at the 724 mark, Zach Sanford scores on the power play. His first of the postseason, assisted by Igor Afanasyev and Mark Delgaizo, their first assist of the postseason. And then at the 819 mark, Jimmy Huntington scores his first goal, assisted by Mark Jankowski, his first of the postseason, and Igor Afanasyev, his second. Then in the second period, the Moose jump on the board with an assist from Jansen Harskins, his first with an assist from Dominic T uh, Tanato, his first. Then Jordan Gross scores his first with an assist from Evangelista, his second, and Sherwood. I'm not going to say these guys first every time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was scored on the power play. And then uh, Austin Ruschoff scores his first power play, or first postseason goal in his first AHL postseason game. And all the time he's been in this league for like three years, I think it is, he's never played in the postseason. And, and his first game, he just comes up big with that. And I don't know. This was the one goal where I was just like, I don't know. It almost seems like the Moose goalies had way too much rest time. Yeah. Because their perceptions were all off. I mean, um, uh, Ruchoff's goal, uh, goal was assisted by Wills via Gross. Uh, Gross scores his second with an assist from Jankowski, his second, and Schneider. Um, that was at the 10.03 mark, and then Daniel Torgelson, he scored his uh, scored a goal unassisted. No scoring in the third. In net, uh, in net for the Admirals with Jaroslav Iskara. He stopped 35 of 37. Very good outing for Yara. The mm -hmm. one goal was from Torgelson, and that one was a floater. Yeah. It, it, he dumped it on net and it skipped on Yarrow. And, and it, from time to time, that happens. Yeah. Um, in that for the most to start the game was Evan Cormier. Cormier stopped four shots on set or four shots out of seven in eight minutes and 26 seconds of work. Um, and then in 51 minutes, 34 seconds of work. Uh, Arvid Holmes stopped 14 of 30, uh, 14 of 17. He also allowed three. So we averaged three goals against on each goalie so far to play in this series. 
All right. Your head coaches for Manitoba are Return of the Mac, Mark Morrison. Not that one, but still funny. Ha, ha. Uh, former longtime Moose, uh, Nolan Bumgarner, uh, Eric Dubois is also assistant coach, um, and goaltending coach, former Milwaukee Admiral, former Grand Rapids, or former, yeah, Grand Rapids Griffin, and former Wolf, and uh, former Moose, Drew McIntyre. Attendance at Canada Life Center is 3,673. I thought it would have been a little better than that, given that the Jets are now out. Um, your three stars of the game, third star of the game, Luke Evangelista with two assists. By the way, Evangelista's assist on... Gross's goal was just not even fair. Yeah. He did a no-look pass, and it was just one tee back in the net. So I, I give I give a lot of credit tonight. The guys played hard, and I was very worried about having the time off. Yeah. Like, I like the, having the time off for me personally, but as a player, you don't want time off. Right. Unless you're hurt. Because you're not going to play at the top of your game hurt. So, um, also been watching a lot of the uh, AHL playoffs. There's plenty of uh, admirals and former admirals and former Preds players in the uh, playoffs, including guys like Jeremy Davies, uh, Mitch McLean, and uh, what else we got here? <laughs> oh, yeah, PC Lavrie's over there with Syracuse. Oh, uh, can't think of everyone else still left. <laughs> Rocco Grimaldi plays for Rockford. Um, Former Admiral Anthony Batetto plays for Charlotte. That'll about be it. Those are the players left. Um. So with that, uh, that are left in the AHL uh, playoffs. All right. So in the NHL, who got sent packing today? The Hurricanes advance. Looks like Minnesota's going home. They're down three one three nothing after two. Colorado and Seattle are tied one apiece in game six. Colorado just scored. Um and Florida forces game seven against Boston. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, what's your thoughts, like, of of just e everything going on lately in, in the game? It's just been, hockey has been so loud these playoffs. Yeah, there's been a lot of good games these playoffs. I haven't checked many out, but I've seen the results. We've also seen a lot of news reports, um... Uh, I've seen even on like I was watching um TNT's pre coverage for one of the Bucks games that was on there, and and they were talking about the comment made with uh um what was that uh Charles Barkley 
how the NBA playoffs were boring and that the NHL playoffs was what he was watching. And from an old basketball fan, and I mean me, um, because I used to love the game. And to me, it just became a bunch of too offensive. It's almost the reason I hate football. It's just all offense, no defense, there's no structure. So it, it, it's it's just that's sometimes how I look at it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that they're building the game to be offensively run. And yes, scoring's fun and all, but guys care about their stats defensively too because it goes into their paycheck. You know, I'm thinking of it from the player standpoint. It, it, it's it's proven by hockey players who, you know, All right, you know, there are guys on teams who. You, how is he in the NHL? Well, he can't score you many goals, but he'll keep the puck out of your net and do everything in his power to do so. Right. Um. By the way, for those of you, if you're looking for a good series in the A to watch. Um, that Calgary Abbotsford series is going to be crazy. Them two teams do not like each other. Mm. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with all this. But definitely a great showing by the boys. Yep. Um, very happy to see our guys that we had back. Um. I know that I wish them well in Nashville next year because I don't think a lot of our guys are going to be back. And, and, and the ones that were up there, they definitely deserve their spot or at least a yeah. chance to fight for the spot. You know, um, there's so much going forward that that's interesting. All right. But that's all I got. John, you got anything in my head? No, just good to be back up and running. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, lots more coming from us soon. Just you wait. Mm-hmm.